Good morning, traders. Today is Tuesday, November 22nd at approximately 7.56 a.m., about just over 35 minutes until opening bell. And we do have some positive coiling, bullish coiling that we're seeing in the markets. Let's get into it without further ado. Okay, as you see here, futures are up. As finally expected, we are now on day six, day six trading days, of course, since the huge move up last Tuesday. Okay, now, here's I want to call your attention to the 30 minutes chart right here. See what see what the VIX is trying to do. I'm sorry, not the VIX. QQQ, TQQQ is trying to do right now. It is trying to finally overtake the 30 minute EMA 50. Okay. It's trying to take the 30 minute AMA 50. That is bullish. That's not bearish, right? That can't be bearish, right? So as a reminder, the, fi the last five trading days, right? Not including today. The last five trading days, TQQQ has failed to overtake the five minute EMA 50, okay? It could not hold it. I mean, it, it did go above it briefly, but it couldn't hold it, right? It fell back down. Okay, so now it's trying to take the 30 minutes. Okay, so let's just keep that in mind. And, um, you know, consequently, if, if it's trying to do the 30 minute, you know, it's also going to look up on the 65 minute as you see right here too. So if it takes the, th if it overtakes the 30 minute today, if, big if, then the next target is the 65 minute EMA 50. Okay, and that's how you should look at that. And if it take if it I don't think it's gonna overtake the 65. I, I just don't think a, that big of a move is gonna happen today. I think it's still intentionally, the markets are intentionally coiling, consolidating. I don't think they're I don't think <laughs> it's gonna make a big move today on Tuesday, but uh, you never know. They might have something in, in store. Um so keep that in mind, guys. So here's the five minute, right? Uh well above the EMA fifty. So that is Obviously, it's a line of strength. But yesterday, keep in mind, yesterday it was well above the EMA 50, and then at opening bill, it collapsed. Okay. There is a possibility. I don't know about probability, but possibility the market makers could decide to just suddenly rip it down to trap the bears, only to rip it back up. Okay. Keep that possibility in mind, in, in the back of your minds. Okay. So let's look at the fixed five minutes. Look at that. I mean, yesterday was falling. Today in pre-markets, it's falling. Okay, it's falling, falling, falling. And I'm going to show you more on the VIX as well. Let's jump over to NASDAQ futures. Uh, let's first go over to, yeah, let's, uh, the one hour, one hour chart. Okay, see? So, as per yesterday, it's following that trend line. Oh, ascending, following that trend. Um, yeah, following the, well, in, in this case, it is a support line in the channel, right? Here's the the bigger dotted lines are the bigger is the is the what I think is the actual channel top to bottom. So it's near the bottom of the channel, but it is hugging that support line near the bottom of the channel. It did kiss the bottom. Uh, was it yesterday? Oh, this morning, 3 a.m. See, it did kiss the bottom, but it bounced up. See that? It bounced up. So uh, that's the one hour. Now check this out. Okay, let me come on. Come on, here we go. Here we go. MACD, MACD. As as I've been pointing out yesterday, and 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 I think on Friday too in my video, the MACD is curling up on the hourly. The MACD is curling up. Look where it is. Negative eight. It's close to zero. Okay. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can just see a little bit, a little bit more perspective. Okay. Zoom out a little bit more. Okay. This is point one last Tuesday. Huge, huge move up. Point one. Point two uh, on the 17th. We are now at point three. I'm going to do another video later uh, this morning that really gets into details about this. But for now, I'm just meant calling it out. Once you have hit point three, the next move is up. Okay. And that's, and that's exactly what's happening. See, it's curling up. The hourly is now close to the zero. If the hourly can start to get past zero and into the positive, it's on. Rally on. 
but it is curling up. That's what you want to see. Look at the look at the uh, the RSI at currently at 69, guys. 69, right? You need to be at 50 or above to go up. Okay, that's the one hour. Four hours chart. Okay, look at this is uh, for now. I'm just going to call your attention. This is point three. Don't worry about all these numbers. I'm going to explain those in another video. This is point three. It's curling. It is technically, we'll just call it at an equal low as point one. This is point one. This is, um, well, yeah, it's at, it's currently at an equal low as this point right here. See that? This is the four hours chart, guys. And let's see how close it is to the zero line. Oh, yeah, get ready. Okay. Now, this is the VIX uh, four hours chart. Look at that. Look at the, now let's contrast what you just saw with the VIX four hours chart. Below the zero line and curling downward. Okay. I think it's got uh it's good it's going to go let's see let me draw out this line turn that to red I think its target is somewhere about there it's got further to go until right about there okay something like that something like that it's got further to go now uh, look at the look at the RSI down to 18 on the four hours chart. That's weak, guys. That's not strong. Okay. Let's look at the one hour on the VIX. Okay, one hour. Falling, 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 falling. Below, well below the zero line, and keep and it keeps falling. Now, let's. Let's just see where it's going to at least try to bottom out. But right now on the hourly, the RSI is 2. <laughs> it's at 2, okay? You know, one could argue, oh, well, that I guess it's ready to bounce. But keep in mind, it can stay there for a while. It doesn't have to just bounce up like a V, right? It could stay there, okay? Or it could, like in this example, in this example, try to come up, not even quite get to the get to the 20 line and then come back down right so um yep that's the one hour four hourly the four hours chart oh yeah you just saw that okay now dollar four hours chart so okay the four hours chart is curling down now it is curling down currently dollar is down it is curling down even though it's above zero see that now we need to see if it will keep curling and move down past the signal line, which which the, I think it is. I think it's going to. It's just been weak. I think it's going to keep curling throughout the day and into uh, futures tonight. Because, let's check out the one hour chart. Okay, see that? This is the one hour chart. Let's see how far down it's going to go. Okay, RSI down at 23. Uh, on the four hours chart, RSI is at 18. Okay, see that at eight on the four hours chart, it's at 18. So it could keep going down, and, and it can stay down there for a while, for a good long while. Okay. Okay. So that is what I've got for you guys today. Hope that uh, is uh, helpful. Um, you know, I I don't want to exactly say go all in on your calls. Or be bullish just yet, even though the signs are looking good. I just think that there's a possibility for continued consolidation. Um, as we, as we this week, I, I'm not so sure we're going to get a huge move. We might. I think if we get a huge move, it's going to be to the upside. It's not going to be to the downside. Because, for example, let, let, let's just look at like, you know. Uh, on 11.1 when we had a huge move to the downside or even 10.26 when it had a huge move to the downside well that's because we've been surging right we've been surging 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 we haven't been surging for the last five days we've been consolidating right we've been consolidating and all these big moves to the downside are from way up in the positive range down we're we are consolidating just above zero ready to go up 
That's why I don't think, well, I would be shocked if there's a huge move to the downside. Uh, I'm not referring to this week, even next week. If there's going to be a big move, it's going to be to the upside because the MACD and the RSI all support that conclusion. I would un I would understand if we're like, oh, okay, we're overextended to the upside now. RSI is 90, and we've been like this for three days straight. Oh, no, we, we, we need to be getting our puts in, <laughs> but not this time. Okay, so and that is all I've got for you guys today. I will talk to you guys soon. I'll look out for another video I plan on doing later this morning that talks about what the heck these numbers even mean. Look like a bunch of Da Vinci code numbers. Okay, so talk to you again soon.